This type of racism happened to you when you were a kid. Uh, you know, I was very fortunate. It, I never uh, experienced it firsthand, but I had a lot of friends that went through this. I have a lot of uh, Sikh Punjabi friends who couldn't play hockey because of the issue of the turban and the helmet. But that's what this movie is about, guys. You don't need to change who you are. Take pride in who you are. There's always a solution out there, all right? People, don't do what Rajveer did. Rajveer had to change who he was because he thought he's fitting into society or fitting into the sport. But then he realized the answer was there all along. So that's, you know, I hope that you guys take that from this movie, is that be proud of who you are in every way. Great, okay, we got another question for you, man. Way up here. Hey! Um, Where am I looking? There. Hi. Uh, what inspired you to create the movie, though? Like, what, what inspired you to think of uh, the movie? What inspired me? What inspired me is all you guys right here. I wanted to make a movie that's about us. You know, no matter where we come from, whatever our background is, you know, we're all Canadian at the end of the day. And I wanted to make a movie for all of us young guys and all of us young people here today that we had a movie that we could call our own. But there is a lot of this movie that's based on my own life as well. So. Do, you, do you want to talk about that a little bit? What, uh... Yeah, take a look. All right, I got one right here and then you... If you like kissing Melissa. <laughs> I think uh, Melissa liked kissing me, actually. <laughs> hey, I just had to represent for all my brown guys out there. What's up? Come on. <laughs> we have another question somewhere. I'm sure there is. Way at the back. Good work. You can pass the mic down. Um, how did it manage to get people like doing the booty press? Um, how did you manage to get people right. like doing the booty well, uh, Drake, first of all, is from Toronto, where I'm from. Uh, I've known Drake for a while, and uh, when he heard about this story and about this movie, he said, I'm in. He said, uh, I want to come down and show my support to this movie. And uh, that meant a lot. And uh, Ludacris uh, heard the song that you heard at the end, Shirandi Gom Punjabi, and he loved it. And he said, I want to do a little something on this song. And it just all came together. Fantastic. Oh, I have a question here. How many, how many years have you been skating for? How many years have you been skating for? Have I been skating for? Uh, I've been playing hockey since I was a kid. So, but, you know, this movie was very tough to shoot. We all had to get together weeks before, me and all the Speedy Sing boys, we had to practice the plays. Shooting hockey was very tough, 12, 15 hours a day on the ice. Uh, so by the end of it, I actually was a really good skater. Yeah, I've got one up here. What's Drake's number? What's Drake's number? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's a very deep, uh, deep question. I will, I will give him your number. I'll do that. All right. <laughs> How is it working with Russell Peters? Russell's crazy. Russell is, is the craziest guy I've ever met, and it's actually really hard to work with him because he's always making you laugh. So, uh, does anybody here do any good Russell Peter impressions? <laughs> I, would, I would love to hear one. <laughs> Somebody gonna get hurt real bad. <sighs> You're gonna get that one again, hold on. Yeah. Listen up. Somebody could look at the hood real bad. Somebody. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. <laughs> I had a question way over here now. This is my keep fit. So, in your movie, you 
dated a white girl, so would you date a white girl in real life? Would you date a white girl in real life? <laughs> uh, like I said, this film is inspired from things in my life. I'll just leave it at that. But, uh, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm very open. I'm actually single right now, so I'm, I'm very open.